Imagine this, you just got your paycheck and you're feeling on top of the world. Fast forward a week and you're wondering where all your money went. Sounds familiar? Well, you're not alone. It's an all too common struggle, the constant tug of war between your paycheck and your expenses. And let's not even start on those surprise bills that pop out of nowhere like unwanted party crashers. But my friend, it doesn't have to be this way. Today, we're going to talk about not just surviving, but thriving. We're going to unlock the secrets to successful budgeting. Yes, that's right, budgeting. Now don't roll your eyes, I promise you. It's not as daunting as it sounds. We're not just going to throw a bunch of numbers and spreadsheets at you. No, we're going to give you three actionable tips that you can start implementing today. We're going to talk about tracking your income and expenses, setting realistic goals, and choosing the right tools. These aren't just strategies, they're game changers. They're the difference between wondering where your money went and knowing exactly how every penny is working for you. And the best part? These tips don't require you to have a degree in finance or be a math whiz. They're simple, practical, and most importantly, effective. They're about understanding your money, controlling it, and making it work for you. So, are you ready to take the leap? Are you ready to take control of your financial destiny? Are you ready to stop wondering where your money went and start dictating where it goes? If your answer is yes, then stick around. This is going to be a game changer. Say goodbye to financial confusion and hello to budgeting success. First things first, you can't control what you don't understand. So let's take a deep dive into understanding your income and expenses. It's like the language of your own money. It's your personal financial Rosetta Stone, if you will. Remember, your income just your paycheck. It includes everything from your side hustles to your grandma's birthday money. And expenses? Well, they are the sneaky little devils that seem to appear out of nowhere, ready to snatch away your hard-earned cash. From rent to that impulsive online shopping spree, it all counts. Now you might be thinking, but how do I keep of all this? Well, my friend, welcome to the world of budgeting tools. These days, we've got a whole smorgasbord of digital tools that can do the heavy lifting for you. From budgeting apps to spreadsheets, these tools can automatically track your income and expenses, categorize them and even give you a nudge when you're about to overspend. It's like having a personal financial advisor in your pocket minus the hefty fees. But wait, there's more. These tools can also help you visualize your spending habits. Ever wondered where your money every month? These tools will show you in full Technicolor. It's like your money's very own reality show, and trust me, it can be just as dramatic. But let's not forget the challenges. Remembering to log all transactions can sometimes feel like a chore. But here's a tip. Make it a part of your daily routine. Routine. Set a reminder. Do it while you're sipping your morning coffee, or make it a nightly ritual before you hit the hay. It's like your teeth. You might not love it, but you know it's good for you. And for those who love going old school, there's always the classic pen and paper method. It might not have all the bells and whistles of a budgeting app, but it does have charm. And who knows? There might be a certain satisfaction in physically writing down your expenses and witnessing your financial story unfold. Once you understand your money, you start making it work for you. Remember, knowledge is power. And in this case, it's the power to take control of your financial future. So, get to know your income and expenses, embrace the tools at your disposal, and start your journey towards financial freedom. After all, it's your money story to write. Make it a bestseller. And if you're finding these tips helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more financial wisdom. Keep taking steps towards writing your very own money success story. Now that you're tracking your money, it's time to set some goals. And not just any goals, we're talking about SMART goals. Specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. That's right, we've got an acronym because who doesn't love a good acronym? Specific means your goal should be clear and detailed. Instead of saying, I want to save money, try, I want to save $2,000 by December. That's a goal you can see, touch, and plan for. Next up is measurable. This means you should be able to track your progress. If your goal is to save $2,000 by December, you can measure your progress by checking how much you've saved each month. Then we have achievable. Your goal should be realistic and within your reach. If you're earning $3,000 a month, aiming to save $10,000 in a month might not be achievable unless you plan to survive on air and sunshine. Relevant is up next. Your goal should align with your financial plans. If you're trying to pay off debt, your goal could be to set aside a certain amount of money each month to pay towards that debt. Finally, we have time-bound. Your goal should have a deadline. 
Remember the $2,000 by December goal? December is your deadline. Now let's talk about examples. Let's say you want to save $500 for a vacation in three months. That's a smart goal. It's specific because you know how much you want to save. It's measurable because you can track how much you've saved each month. It's achievable if you cut back on some expenses and save a little more each month. It's relevant if you've been wanting to take a vacation. And it's time-bound because you have three months to reach your goal. Another example could be paying off your credit card debt within a year. It's specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. But here's a bonus tip. Break down your larger goals into smaller, more manageable milestones. If you want to save $2,000 by December, break it down to saving about $170 each month. That way, you're not overwhelmed by the big number and you can celebrate your small wins along the way. Remember, a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You wouldn't bake a cake without the right tools, right? The same goes for budgeting. Now that we've covered the basics of tracking income and expenses and setting SMART goals, let's dive into the tools of the trade. Think about it. You wouldn't try to catch a fish with your bare hands when you could use a fishing rod, would you? Of course not. The same principle applies to budgeting. There are tools out there designed to make this process as smooth as butter on a hot pancake. Budgeting tools come in all shapes and sizes, quite like our individual financial situations. Some people may find a good old-fashioned pen and paper to be their best friend, while others might prefer a fancy budgeting app that does everything but make your morning coffee. Let's talk about some of these tools. First, we have budgeting apps. These are a great option for those of us who are always on the go. Many of these apps automatically track and categorize your spending, making it easy for you to see where your money is going. Some popular options include Every Dollar and Mint. Each app has its own unique features, so it's worth exploring a few to see which one you like best. Next up we have Spreadsheets. Yep, good old Excel or Google Sheets. If you love being in control and enjoy crunching numbers, Spreadsheets might just be your cup of tea. You can customize them to your heart's content, and they can be as simple or as detailed as you want. Last but not least, we have the classic pen and paper method. If you're a fan of physically writing things down, you might find this method therapeutic. It gives you a tangible connection to your money and can be surprisingly effective. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all when it comes to budgeting tools. The key is to find a method that fits your needs and preferences. Are you a tech-savvy person who loves automation? Go for a budgeting app. Do you prefer having full control over your budgeting process? A spreadsheet might be your best bet. Or maybe you're a traditionalist who appreciates the simplicity of pen and paper. That works too. The right tools can make your budgeting journey a whole lot easier. So, whether you're a master chef or a beginner, make sure you have the right tools in your kitchen before you start cooking up your budget. Budgeting isn't a one-and-done deal. It requires consistent effort and a little bit of flexibility. Think of it as a dance. You lead with your plan, but when life throws you a curveball, you pivot, you adjust, and you keep on dancing. Consistency is like the rhythm of this dance. It's what keeps you on your toes, moving forward. Regularly tracking your income and expenses is crucial. It's not enough to just set a budget and forget about it. You have to keep an eye on it, monitor your progress. It's like checking your dance steps, making sure you're still in tune with the music. Now, let's talk about the second dance partner here, flexibility. Life is unpredictable. Your car might break down, you may need to visit the doctor, or your best friend might suddenly decide to get married in Hawaii. These unexpected expenses can throw your budget off balance, but that's okay. Don't let it discourage you. Just like in a dance, when you miss a step, you don't stop. You adjust your next move and get back into the rhythm. Your budget is a living, breathing entity. It needs to adapt to your life changes. So, when unexpected expenses come your way, adjust your budget. You might need to cut back on some non-essential expenses or find ways to increase your income. Remember, it's your budget, and you have the power to make it work for you. And let's not forget about celebrating your progress. Every step you take towards your financial goals is a victory. So whether you've stuck to your budget for a week, a month, or a year, or paid off a chunk of debt, take a moment to celebrate. It will boost your morale and keep you motivated. After all, who doesn't like a good dance party? With consistency and flexibility, you'll be a budgeting master in no time. So, you've got the tips. Now what? That's right, it's time for you to take these tools and turn them into action. Let's take a quick journey back through what we've covered. First up, we talked about tracking income and expenses. It's like a financial selfie, allowing you to see where your money comes from and where it's going. Whether you choose to do this through a fancy app or an old-school notebook, the key is to keep it updated and accurate. Next, 
we delved into setting realistic and smart goals. Remember your financial goals should be specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. These aren't pie-in-the-sky dreams but concrete targets like saving $500 for a vacation in three months or paying off credit card debt within a year. And don't forget to break down larger goals into smaller bite-sized pieces. It makes the journey less daunting and more manageable. Lastly, we explored the world of budgeting tools. From apps that do it all to a good old pen and paper, the best tool is the one that fits your needs and preferences. Personalize your tools, make them your own, and they'll serve you well on your budgeting journey. Now it's over to you. Start budgeting. Adapt these tips to your life. Remember, there's no one-size-fits-all approach to budgeting. You've got to find what works for you. And hey, we're in this together. So why not share your budgeting tips and challenges in the comments below? Let's start a conversation. Let's learn from each other. Remember, budgeting isn't about restriction. It's about empowering you to make informed financial decisions. So, go forth and budget. If you found these budgeting tips helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial advice. Happy budgeting!